comfortable seated position. Seating tall, stable foundation will be very important today. Important always, of course, but especially today, because today we're working with the energy in the first chakra at the base of the spine, Muladhara chakra. I'm going to get my chakra uh, banner here so you can see if you're not familiar with the first chakra. I'm going to show you here. This is first chakra. You see it's the color red, very earthy. It's uh, a square, very solid foundation based. So we begin by finding that stable foundation to support ourselves, closing the eyes and letting the attention arrive here in this moment. Observe your legs and your pelvis anchoring you down. Allowing the muscles in your lower body to soften. Tone in lower abdominals and lengthen crown upwards. Back of the head lining up with back of pelvis. And with your hands resting on your legs comfortably Join index fingers and thumbs lightly together. A very grounding mudra for the hands, a hasta mudra, sealing your grounding energy. Breathing in, present moment awareness. Breathe out any distractions, any thoughts associated with future or past making an agreement with ourselves that for this hour, we'll stay fully here in this body, in this breath, in this practice, committed to doing the work that is required right now. We'll get more anchored into the present moment by doing a simple pranayama practice. And the exercise today will be to breathe in to a count of four, hold in for four, breathe out for four, hold out for four. So you're creating a square breath. Let's begin together, exhaling all the air out. Inhale for one, two, three, Four, hold the breath, four, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Hold out for four, three, two, one. Inhale, four, three, two, one. Hold four, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, Two, one, hold four, three, two, one. Breathe in for four, three, two, one, hold four, three, two, one. Breathe out for four, three, two, one. Hold out for four, three, two, one. Inhale four. Three, two, one, hold four, three, two, one, exhale four, three, two, one, retain four, three, two, one, breathe in for four, three, two, one, hold in four, three, two, one, breathe out for four, three, two, one, hold out for four, three, two, 
One, inhale, four, three, two, one, hold, four, three, two, one, exhale, four, three, two, one, hold, four, three, two, one, inhale, four, last round, three, two, one, hold, four, three, two, one, breathe out for four, three, two, one, hold out for four, three, two, one, inhale on your own without controlling, observing a slight pause at the top and let the air go out as you exhale without controlling, just noticing, observing a subtle pause at the bottom. Watch a few more breaths, noticing the quality of your presence after doing a few rounds of Samavriti Pranayama, the equal fluctuations breathing exercise. So we breathe in, hold, exhale, and hold for the same count, creating an anchoring energy, the energy of a square, a square that is such a stable foundation. Today we're connecting to our anatomical structure, our physical structure, that which supports us. We're finding a comfortable feeling in the body, our home. Next time you breathe in, please circle the arms and reach up overhead. Interlace your fingers, press your palms upwards and extend the arms, take a deep breath. As you breathe out, bend the elbows sideways, soften the shoulders. Extend the arms up again, breathing in. And bend the elbows sideways again, exhaling completely. Inhale, extend the arms one more time. Exhale, bend your elbows to the sides. And next time you inhale to extend the arms, lean over to the left on the exhale. Stay here, inhaling to the right side of your rib cage. And stay anchored through your lower body as you exhale, relax your shoulders. Come to center as you breathe in. Lean over to the other side as you breathe out. Stay here, inhaling to the left side of rib cage and stay to soften on the exhalation. Return to center, breathing in, open arms, breathing out, interlace hands behind hips. Extension of the arms as you lift your chest here, keep your chin slightly into chest. Back of the neck long. So Muladhara energy is a rooting energy. We establish our foundation right here in this moment within ourselves so that when life gets shaky, we find our center within so we're not too disturbed by what's happening around us. We're connected to ourselves. We're so rooted into the core of our being. Releasing the hands, We'll come into Malasana, a yogic squat. So of course you can sit up on something or you can just hover your hips above the floor. Join your palms together. The heels can be on or off the floor. Bring your attention to the base of the spine, tailbone area, location of Muladhara Chakra. Visualize a point of red light, a very earthy red the color associated with the energy here at the root chakra. And take a few breaths, 
maintaining the spine as neutral as possible. Spread your toes. Imagine you are stepping onto dirt or mud, really anchoring down and connecting to Mother Earth. That stability that it provides. Now releasing the hands down, extend your legs, feet parallel, reach your chest forward and fold between your legs, release your head down, hold on to the elbows or forearms and sway a bit from side to side. Going to remove my socks to really feel the floor beneath. The energy of Muladhara Chakra is very connected to our lower body, our feet, our legs, and the bones all throughout the body. We're going to strengthen the bones, strengthen the legs today. Pause in center for a moment. Maintain space around your neck. Notice that you're creating sort of a square as you hold your arms like this, a square around your head, the square of stability of Muladhara. And with the next inhalation, reach your chest forward, lower your hands to floor and step into a plank position. Strong plank, of course, you can lower the knees if needed. Press the inner heels back and reach your chest forward tone in the lower abdominals and minimize the space between the low ribs and the hip bones without closing your chest. Keep anchoring down through your hands and toes and take one more breath here, strong, stable foundation for your practice. Then lower your knees down and move your hips in circles. Yeah, moving the hips in circles, allowing the energy at the base of the spine to release, to free up anything that may be stagnant in that area. Muladhara energy relates to our ancestors. So you may take a moment here to remember important people in your past, to thank them for all their hard work and for allowing you to be here, moving the opposite direction. Our ancestors, our roots, just honoring those people that are essential for our existence. And then pause in center. Bring hands directly underneath shoulders, knees under hips, tabletop. On the inhale, lift your tailbone, lift your chest. Tuck the tailbone under as you exhale, round your back, chin down. Lift the tailbone, initiate the movement at the Muladhara Chakra, lift your chest. Exhale, tailbone tucks under and we round the back, chin into chest. You can continue on your own. So follow your own um, pattern, your unique timing, tempo here. Observe the spinal structure, one vertebrae moving after the other. The seven main chakras that we're working with in this series until the end of the year are located along the spine in the subtle body, beginning at the tailbone and ending at the top of the head. So no longer the physical spine, but energetically, we can think of the spine 
Moving all the way up into the crown, Sahasrara Chakra. The base chakra muladhara that we're working with today is the more gross energy, the more material energy. And it's essential to have this very strong, stable foundation for the other chakras to have that support to be able to blossom freely in a structured way, in a way that we feel really safe to explore more subtle aspects of life from a grounded place. We'll pause in neutral and extend the right leg back parallel to floor with the toes pointing down, left arm by the head, thumb pointing up. The right hand is like a claw. You press your uh, heel of the hand and the tips of the fingers down like a suction cup. Stay strong, connect to your bones, engage your core, press back through the inner heel. Just one more breath here, strong, active. Lower down, hand and knee. Left leg extends back, toes pointing down, right arm by the head, thumb pointing up. Soften the shoulders and remember the engagement of the core. Don't let it go. Engage the lower abdominals and at the same time, open your chest, draw the shoulders back away from ears. And take one last breath here, inner left heel back. Lower down, hand and knee. Walk the hands a couple inches ahead of shoulders for downward facing dog, hips up and back. Keep your head down and feel free to move the hips side to side. Your hands and your feet are now your foundation. You can imagine creating roots down into the earth through your feet and hands. And when you pause in center in Adomukha Svanasana, inhale together energy, prana from the earth, up your hands and feet into your pelvis. And exhale from the tailbone, energy moves down through your limbs into the earth to get recycled. Inhale, gather prana from the earth, up your hands and feet into the tailbone area, Muladhara Chakra. And exhale from Muladhara Chakra, the base of the spine, energy moves down your limbs to get recycled down into the earth. Just one more time. Inhale, vitality from the earth. Exhale to breathe out anything that is not serving a purpose for you any longer. Then glide forward into a plank pose and lower to your belly all the way down onto the belly. Interlace your hands behind the hips, extend the arms back, tops of feet on the floor, chest up. The neck stays long. The hands can lift off the hips. Back of pelvis, broad. Press tops of feet down, pubic bone down, lift chest a little more. So we're working with a little bit of permanence in the poses today to really enhance a sense of stability, of steadiness. Take one more breath. Exhale to lower forehead down, hands close to low ribs, curl the toes to push up, plank your knees, downward dog, exhale. Bring your feet together and lift your right leg straight up. Turn your right toes to the right, right hip kind of stacks over left, we can bend the right knee. Gaze at the left ankle, left heel towards the floor, doesn't have to touch. Press into both hands equally. 
Continue to breathe steadily. A steady breath equals a steady mind. With the next inhale, re-extend the right leg, square off your hips. And exhale, step your right foot between your hands all the way forward into a lunge. Get anchored through your legs and then raise the chest up, arms up by the head. Soften the shoulders. Open your arms out sideways. We're taking Ganesha Mudra. Interlace or not interlace, hook your fingers just in front of your chest. Create a hook like this. Yeah? So you're facing forward. Your elbows are reaching away from each other. Relax your shoulders. And we're taking Ganesha Mudra to invite that energy of foundation. Ganesha is often called upon at uh, the beginning of every new day, any new adventure, any new project, because he helps to remove and clear obstacles in our path. So we take a moment here to invite the energy of Lord Ganesha, the elephant, half elephant, half human deity. And we can chant, the mantra for Ganesha, very simple one. Om Gam Ganapataye Namaha. Salutations to Lord Ganesha. Let's repeat three times. Inhale. Om Gam Ganapataye Namaha. Om Gam Ganapataye Namaha. Om Gam Ganapataye Namaha. Inhale, extend the arms up by the head. Exhale, lower your hands to touch the floor. Bring your right hand to your hip for a twist. Look over your shoulder. Extend the right arm up. Draw the shoulder heads back. Lengthen through the waist. Open up the chest. Keep breathing steadily. Remember that the two main qualities in the yoga practice that we wanna find in each pose, in each moment, are stability, stiram, and sukham, comfort. Take one more breath. In the breath, in the body, in the mind, stiram and sukham. Exhale, lower your right hand down. Walk your hands over to the left edge of your mat, feet parallel, legs straight and fold right between your legs, release your head, interlace your hands behind your hips, extend the arms up and overhead. Breathing, unrushed. Stay upside down, observing your head getting heavier. Just one more breath here in this Prasarita Padottanasana hinge. Connect to your legs, stay anchored. And as you inhale again, reach your chest forward, lower your hands down and walk forward into a lunge position. Plant your hands down, step into plank, nice and strong, inhale. Lower both knees, sit back into child's pose as you exhale, just for one breath. Inhale, stay here close to the ground and stay as you exhale to soften. Come forward onto hands and knees as you breathe in. Move your chest forward, bend the elbows, only halfway down we go. Exhale, modify Chaturanga on the knees. Extend the arms for upward dog, knees can come off the floor. Downward dog, exhale all the way back. Same sequence with the other side, left leg straight up. Turn your toes to the left and bend your knee, easing at the right ankle. Now here, as you anchor through both hands, make sure you're not jamming the right side of your waist. So draw that outer right hip a little further away from the armpit. Keep your head down. Equal breathing, equal inhales and exhales. Next time you breathe in, straighten your legs, square off your hips and step this left foot forward between the hands. We lift the torso, arms up by the head. 
So strengthening the legs with the permanence in this warrior lunge. Soften shoulders, draw the low ribs gently in, and then open your arms. We're taking Ganesha Mudra again, as you bend your elbows and clasp your hands in front of your chest, in front of your heart, change the palm that is facing your chest. Do it the weird way now. Connect to the energy at Ganesha, of Ganesha. Ganesha actually said to leave around the area of Muladhara Chakra, the base of the spine. Again, the energy of new beginnings, a trust, a courage that is necessary to embark on a new adventure, whatever it may be. And we'll call upon that energy by chanting three times that same chant, inhale. Om Gam Ganapataye Namaha. Om Gam Ganapataye Namaha. Om Gam Ganapataye Namaha. Inhale, raise the arms up. Reach your hands forward, touching the earth. Left hand to hip, twisting, open chest. Extend the arm up. Rotate shoulder heads back, lengthening through the waist. Steady breath, steady mind. Strong body, clear energy lines. One more breath here. Bring the hand back down, walk over to the right with the legs straight, feet parallel. Fold between your legs, release your head. Interlace your hands behind your back again with the opposite thumb on the outside, extend the arms up and over. Relax your face, unclench your jaw, relax your tongue, your eyes. And notice if your hips are past your heels, can you bring them right between your feet? Spread your toes, create roots down into the earth. Create that unshakable foundation that no matter what's happening around, we can always come back to this safe place within, feeling empowered in the body, at home in the body. With the inhalation, reach the chest forward, lower the hands down, walk into the front of the mat, back into lunge. Step into plank pose, inhale here. Lower both knees down, sit back into child's pose, Balasana for one breath. Stay here, inhale, rooting down. Stay as you exhale, releasing anything that you no longer need to hold on to. Come forward onto hands and knees, breathing in. Move chest forward, bend the elbows, lower halfway down, breathing out. Inhale, open chest, extend the arms. Knees can come off the floor. Downward dog, exhale back. With the next inhalation, lift the heels up. Exhale, bend the knees, look ahead, step or hop between the hands, flatten the back, breathe in. Fold over legs, breathe out, bend knees. Roll up spine, circle arms, inhale, reach up nice and high. Exhale into heart, namaskar. A moment again to anchor, spread your toes, feel the feet, feel the earth beneath you. Lift your heels off the floor, find a focal point. Engage your core. Notice the strength within you. It's already there. Just activate it. Your power, your strength, your ability to stay grounded, to feel safe right here in this moment in your body with so much kindness and compassion. Take one more breath here. Lowering heels to floor as you breathe out. We're going to bend the knees for Utkatasana. Touch the floor lightly with your hands. And as you inhale, raise your arms up by the head. Keep your hips low. Stay here as you exhale. Fierce pose. A little more weight onto your heels. Notice if the low ribs are sticking out. 
contain them, lengthen the low back, lift your chest, lift your arms by your head and take one more breath. Notice your strong physical structure here to support you. Stay as you exhale. As you inhale, extend your legs, lift your chest. Reach your arms forward and fold over your legs, hinging at the hips on the exhale. Inhale, look ahead, halfway up, shoulders back. Hands down, step or hop back. Bend the elbows, lower with control, Chaturanga Dandasana. Lift your heart, Urdhva Mukha Shvanasana. Downward dog, Adho Mukha Shvanasana. Find your breath, energizing as you inhale. Cleansing as you exhale. Inhale, lift your heels off the ground. Exhale, bend the knees, look ahead, step or hop. Inhale to a flat back. Fold over legs, exhale, bow down, bend your knees, reach your arms by the head and come all the way up. Extend the legs as you arc your spine. Arms by the body, Tadasana Mountain. Inhale, arms forward and up, lift chest. Reach forward and down with control, exhale, bow. Halfway up, Ardha Uttanasana, look ahead. Hands down, step or hop back, bend the elbows, Chaturanga Dandasana, lower. Inhale, lift your chest, open heart, shoulders down. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana, all the way back. Inhale, getting energized. Exhale, cleansing. Inhale, lift your heels high up. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward, step or hop between the hands, flatten back, breathe in. Fold over legs, breathe out, bend the knees. Arms reach forward, inhale, come all the way up, extend the legs as you arc your spine. Arms by the body, Tadasana. Inhale, arms forward and up. Reach forward and down, exhale, fold with control. Step your right foot back, lower your heel to floor, warrior. Raise your arms, warrior one, Vira Badrasana one. Right into Vira Badrasana two, exhale. Gaze above your left hand. Soften your shoulders right on top of your pelvis. Feel the strength of your legs, your support to stand. Anchor down through the left foot, pressing the outer right heel down. Turn the left palm up, reverse warrior, left arm up, right hand down. Bend the front knee just a little more without collapsing it in. And the right hand presses, or the right leg actually presses into that right hand, which is light, leg strong, feel that power. Take your left forearm to your thigh now. Reach the right arm overhead, side angle. From your right foot, energy shoots up into the right hand. Gaze under the arm, maybe looking at the ceiling. Awareness of the left shoulder, don't collab collapse it forward. You could take your left hand to a block or floor if you wish. Core is powerful. We'll take one more breath, freeing up the energy on the right side for Parshvakonasana. Now take your right hand to your right hip, gaze at the left foot. Walk your left hand a little bit forward and to the left. Step your right foot a little closer to the left and then extend the left leg, lift your right leg parallel to the floor, turning your right toes out to the right, reach your right arm to sky. Ardha Chandrasana. Half moon pose. You can keep gazing down at the floor and try to be very light on your left hand. Perhaps you could lift that left hand off the floor, float it. And if you wanna challenge yourself, you can take your gaze to the right, either with a hand down, touching something or hovering. Keep opening your pelvis to the right and strong legs. So from your pelvis, from Muladhara, shoot energy down your legs into your heels. Inner legs, so active. Take another deep breath here. As you gaze at the floor, lower the right hand. 
You can bend the knee if necessary as you turn your right toes down to the floor. Keep energizing both legs so the inner legs are very active. Press through the inner heels. Down to the left, back through the right. Stay here for one more breath. Now we're going to bend both knees, bring the right knee on the outside of the left foot and sit down. So be very careful with this transition, okay? You may want to straighten the bottom leg. You may wanna sit on a block. From here, your right arm grabs the shin, left hand behind you, lift your chest first, and then gaze over the left shoulder. Remember, the bottom leg could be down. No unnecessary pressure on the knee that doesn't like this, uh, this sort of pressure, okay? Feel your legs. Feel your bones. Get a little taller. Gaze over your left shoulder. The left hand is lightly touching the floor. And we'll take one more breath here. Ardha Matsyandrasana, half Lord of the Fishes pose. With the next inhale, gaze forward. Changing hands as you exhale, look over the right shoulder briefly. Come back to center. Now see if you can lift your hips off the floor. Use your hands. Plant your hands down, step the right leg back, and then the left leg back, plank. Inhale here. Lower both knees down, sit into child's pose as you exhale, just briefly for one breath. Inhale, stay, expand. Stay as you exhale, soften. Come forward onto hands and knees, breathe in. Move your chest forward, bend the elbows, chaturanga arms, breathe out. Inhale, extend the arms, upward dog or cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale. And rushed. Exhale. Lift up the heels. Breathe in. Breathe out. Bend knees. Look ahead. Step or hop. Flatten the back. Inhale. Fold down. Exhale. Bend the knees. Reach your arms by the head. Utkatasana. Lift your chest. Fierce pose. Relax the shoulders. Or the... Witch on a broomstick, right? Some of you did that one with me for Halloween. <laughs> so sit really low into your broom. Keep your knees in line with your ankles. They can be forward of the ankles, just in line in terms of not too wide, not too close. One more breath here, feel your strength. Feel the heat and then extend your legs, lift your chest, inhale. Tadasana, back to your foundation. Inhale here, feel your power. Exhale to anchor through both feet. Inhale, lift your arms. Other side, same sequence. Reach forward and down. Exhale. Left foot steps back. Virabhadrasana one. Raise your arms. Exhale, Virabhadrasana two. Good. Find the alignment. Your body knows, you know, you know what is right. The body will tell you, just listen. Adjust, refine as needed, and then commit to staying strong. With each hold, we get stronger. Gazing above the right hand with the long neck. External rotation in the front thigh bone, internal in the left. Reversing by turning right palm up, lift that right arm, left hand down, keep bending the front knee. Awareness of the floating ribs, not to stick them out. Strong legs. All the power, all the strength you need is already there, just feel it. Bring the right forearm down to thigh bone, reach the left arm overhead, Parshvakonasana. Soften the shoulders, be light on your right arm. It's all core work and leg work. You don't need the arm. 
If you want, you can take your right hand to a block or floor. Open up the chest. Notice if your right hip is sticking out, draw it towards the left foot and take another breath here. Then bring your left hand to your left hip, prepare for Adho Chandrasana, gaze at the right foot, right hand in front of the foot to the right, step your left foot in a bit, and then lift your left leg parallel to floor, turn your toes out, left arm reaches up, shoulder heads back. Both feet are flexed. From Muladhara Chakra, we shoot energy down the feet. Inner legs very active, opening to the left, opening your chest, pelvis to the left. Stay strong, maybe the right hand floats off the floor. Maybe you play with the gaze, <laughs> gazing over to the left or even up towards the left hand. Energize your hands, spread the fingers wide, take another breath here, getting stronger, more resilient. And then gently, both hands will come down as we turn the left toes down. The hips are equally high up now. The left leg is parallel to the floor. Waist is long on the right side, torso over right leg. Stay here just for another breath. And then that transition that can be a little challenging as we bend both knees, the left knee comes to the outside of the right foot for Ardha Matsyandrasana. We're sitting down, take your time getting here. If you need to do something different, that's fine. Extension of the bottom leg is an option. Left arm around shin, right hand behind, get tall, inhale. Gaze over right shoulder, exhale. Tune into your breath and find your center. Connecting to Sushumna Nadi, the ray of light channel, most important energetic channel that runs along the spine. Passing through all the chakras, that energy that runs up and down the spine. Today we're working specifically with the grounding Muladhara Chakra energy. Foundation for everything else to unfold, to blossom, a feeling of safety, of structure, of trust, of courage. Take one more breath. Stay as you exhale. With the inhale, gaze ahead. Changing hands as you exhale, gaze over the left shoulder. And as you look forward, transition weight forward however you can. Plant your hands on the floor, step your left foot back and then your right foot back, you're in a plank. One breath, inhale. Both knees to floor, sit into child's pose. Balasana on the exhale, stay here. Inhale, connecting to Mother Earth's energy. That support is there at all times. Exhale, enjoy, inhale, feel that nourishment. And exhale, trust. Come forward onto hands and knees as you breathe in. Move your chest forward, bend the elbows halfway down, breathe out. Inhale, open up the chest. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale fully. Exhale completely. Lift up the heels as you breathe in. Breathe out to bend the knees, look ahead, step or hop, flatten the back, inhale. Sitting on the floor from here, take your time as you bend your knees, however you can, sit on the floor. Baddha Konasana, bound angle pose. Bring your feet close to each other. They can touch. Knees out. Of course, you can sit up on something if that's helpful for you. Allow the, the pelvis to gently tilt forward. Lift your chest. Feel the legs, the bones of your lower body so heavy towards the floor. And if you like, you can lean forward. You can perhaps take your thumbs to the balls of the feet and kind of open your feet like a book. I like to use the arms 
as a little pressure down the legs to help keep the legs wide. The chest reaches forward. If you're upright, the chest is open. If you're leaning forward, you keep the shoulders back and down. Let me take a few breaths here in the bound angle pose with the neck long, softening the face. Feel your feet, all the little bones in your feet, all the support that you get from your feet. Taking a moment to be grateful for that. And take one more breath here. Exhaling completely. Inhale to lift yourself upright and bring your knees close together. Step your feet forward a little bit ahead of the knees, feet hip distance apart. Take your hands by your hips, um, a little more back behind the hips, fingertips pointing forward. Press into your hands, lift your hips, reverse table. Lift your pubic bone skyward. The shoulders can roll forward here. Anchor through your feet, through your hands, like a stable table with this four points of contact with the floor, providing all the stability you need. Lift the pubic bone a little bit higher, so high that if you look forward, you can't see your knees anymore. Then slowly exhale your hips back down to the floor. You can do this one once again, or if you like to lie down and do a bridge, opt for that, okay, as an option. If you're staying with table with me, lift up again. And then from here, we can add some challenge if you want. Engage your core, tone in the inner legs, draw your belly in. You may need your feet a little closer together. Draw your right knee up into your chest, flex your right foot, extend your right leg up. Now lift both hips higher. Yes, especially the, the left higher. Take one more breath, strong, powerful. Exhale, bend your right knee, lower your right foot down. Take one breath, hips higher. Take a little break, exhale, hips down. Take a moment, maybe wrapping your hands, your arms around your legs, lift your chest. And we'll do the other side, other leg. Back into reverse table, hands down, fingertips pointing forward, lift your hips. Find your structure, your foundation from here. You're welcome to go wherever you like. Left knee can come up, flex the foot, extend the leg up, press through the heel. Lift the hips higher. Yes. Take one more breath here, nice and strong, pressing through the left heel. Bend your knee, lower your foot down. Take one breath, lift your hips higher, hip bones skyward. Exhale, lower the hips down. Lovely, extend the legs forward. We're almost done. Coming to the floor, have room behind you to lie down, point your feet. Reach your arms forward, lift your chest. Come down with control, big toes close together, round your back and come down. Connect it to your center. That's where your power is, inside. Core, core of your being. Once your head is down, hug in your knees. <sighs> Relax. Relax, know when to engage effort, when to fight for what you want and when to release, when to accept, when to let go. Bring your feet to the floor as wide as the mat, open your arms out, shoulder height. At this point, you can have a blanket under your head if you want, deep inhalation. Exhale, both knees turn right, head turns left. Back to center, breathe in. Breathe out, knees left, head right. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Inhale, lift. 
Exhale, lower. Inhale, up. One more time, each side. Exhale, twist. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, up. Pause, bring your feet hip distance. Cross your right ankle over left thigh. Thread the needle, flex your ankle. If you like, left foot off the floor, interlacing hands behind thigh or in front of shin. Keeping the waist long on both sides. Bring awareness to the base of the spine. Imagine the tailbone rooting you down. You can stay here or I'll offer you another variation for this pose, similar to pigeon, where you take your right foot to the inside of your left elbow. Be very mindful of your knee. You can also just hold your shin in place here. And then you can extend the left leg forward if you want, hovering it above the floor with your left toes pointing up. Relax your shoulders. Connect to your breathing. Relax the face. One of our final asanas before Shavasana. Opening the hip. Last breath, wherever you are, your unique shape. Bend the left knee if the leg is straight. Lower the left foot down, everyone, and then the right. Pause in center just for a moment for one breath. And then prepare the left side. Cross over, flex your ankle. Right foot can come up. Long spine. Awareness to the energy at the root chakra. Remember the variation you had on the first side and see if you can take the same shape here on the second side. Let your breath keep you present simply by watching it, by creating that foundation of the mind watching the body breathe without needing to control, just witnessing. Present, aware. To come out of this shape, if the leg is straight, bend the right knee first, foot down, then the left foot down. Happy baby. Knees into armpits, soles of the feet up. Grab the outer edges of your feet if you can. Notice your legs. Notice your bones. Be at home in the body. Long spine. Pelvis heavy. You might want to rock. You might want to give the legs a stretch. When you feel ready, prepare for Shavasana. Take your time to get cozy. Grabbing my socks here. And now, once you find a placement for the body that works for you. Trust. Trust your body's wisdom to take over.
Let go of any need to be in control. Know that at this moment, you are completely safe and you can fully surrender to simply watch your body resting. Giving your body a much needed time to heal whatever needs healing in the rest, in the trust. Bones heavy into the support of Mother Earth. Let yourself be held. Relax your toes, the bottoms of feet, arches, outer edges, tops of feet, the ankles, the shins and calves, knees, thighs and hips, pelvis, awareness to the base of the spine, visualizing a point of red light, Muladhara chakra, root support. I am safe. Relax your belly, your rib cage, your chest, the whole back, shoulders, upper arms, elbows, forearms, wrists, hands, all the fingers, neck, chin, whole mouth, Tongue, gum, jaw, cheeks, ears, temples, eyes, nose, center of eyebrows, forehead, scalp, brain, the whole head, the whole body are resting at ease. Om Gam Ganapataye Namaha. Om Gam Ganapataye Namaha. Om Gam Ganapataye Namaha. May the blessings of Lord Ganesha clear our path. May we have the strength and the courage to overcome the obstacles that may be here for a reason for our personal growth, for us to get even stronger, more resilient, Om Gam Ganapataye Namaha. Om Gam Ganapataye Namaha. Om Gam Ganapataye Namaha. Let these blessings really sink in to give you courage. Remember, this energy is already there, already with you. And you're strong, you're resilient. You have a strong foundation, the stable base within.
as a yogi, you know to connect to the core of your being, to that unshakable place. Stiram and Sukham, a place of stability and comfort within. Allow your breathing to become a little deeper now as you bring movement back to your hands and your feet. And stretch however you like. Take your time to hug in your knees, to roll over to one side, unrushed. And we'll meet seating. We find an upright spine again. Awareness to the very base of the spine. Muladhara chakra, connecting to the root chakra. Root support. The sound that awakens the energy here is lam. The seed sound, the Bija Mantra, L-A-M. Repeat silently a few times. Lam, Lam, Lam. Lam, to activate the potential of this chakra that when in equilibrium helps us feel empowered, strong, safe, connected, grounded, the foundation for everything else to unfold easily, a stable foundation. Lam, lam, lam. We'll finish by bringing the hands together at heart and the sound of Om once together. Deep breath in. Oh. Namaste. Thank you, my friends, for joining me today. I hope this helps your they flow better from a very grounded place. If there's anything Thank you, you want to say, you're welcome, Patrick. Thank you. Take care. Thank you. That was have a great day, everyone. Thank you too. Thank you, darling. Bye bye. Bye Thank bye. You. Have a great week. You too, Barbara. See you Saturday. See you Saturday. Bye, everyone. Bye, Kareem. Bye. Dad, Emma. <laughs> How do I get out? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'm finishing this soon. <laughs> Multi, <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> I'll leave over here. <laughs> I'll end it now. I'll end it. Don't worry. <laughs> Love